Thank you so much for joining us on this WPTV First Alert Weather Spotters training. I'm meteorologist Katya Hall, and we're going to be talking about hail today. What the hail is hail anyways? Hail is a form of precipitation consisting of solid ice that forms inside thunderstorm updrafts. So within a thunderstorm, you have winds going up the cloud, known as an updraft, winds going down the cloud, known as a downdraft. And when there's a strong updraft, raindrops are forced to go up into the cloud where temperatures can reach below low freezing, causing these rain droplets to turn into ice. The ice piece travels down the cloud via the downdraft. The updraft can grab hold of the particle, sending it back up into the cloud where the ice crystal can gain another layer. This up and down cycle continues until the piece of ice is too heavy and gravity pulls it down towards the ground. Oftentimes people can mistake grapple for hail or hail for grapple, and it's two different forms of precipitation here. Grapple actually starts off as a snowflake. It falls through a layer of super cooled water droplets or water that's essentially below freezing, but still in its liquid form. The droplets freeze or rhyme, as we'd like to say, onto the snowflakes, and the end result are tiny white pellets that resemble small hail. Unlike hail, though, they are soft and crushable. So here's the difference between hail versus grapple. Again, hail is precipitation, the form of solid ice, and it looks like this, hard pieces of ice. A way to differentiate between the two is hail often makes a sound when it hits the ground. Grapple does not. Grapple, small, soft ice pellets formed when super cooled water droplets condense onto snowflakes. And again, they're soft and brittle. They kind of look like dip in dots or styrofoam balls. Depending on how strong the updraft is will depend on just how big hail can get. So pea size hail, about a quarter inch size, dime size hail, up to three quarters of an inch. Anything above an inch is considered severe. While we see a whole lot of thunderstorms here in Florida, we don't typically see a whole lot of hail, and that's because we have something called that high freezing level. So hail may start off in the cloud, but usually it melts before it hits the ground. However, places like Wyoming, Colorado, Nebraska, which is considered hail alley, they have a low freezing level. So hail is able to remain intact as it hits the ground. Here's how to take a picture picture of hail. Make sure to take a picture of hail with another object like a ruler or a baseball. This gives us kind of a frame of reference to the size of hail. Do not use marbles since marbles come in different sizes. 